my name's Tyler Rosanero. I'm from Redlands, California. I'm a full-time student, but I also am a musician in several bands. Uh, I'm studying to become an audio engineer. <laughs> I, I grew up in this house, so yeah, so <laughs> pretty much just uh, was born here, raised here. Growing up, uh, my family situation has been always, for the most part, uh, pretty good. School, that's pretty rough. For as long as I can remember, way like way back in like pre-kindergarten probably. Like I've always been like the, you know, black sheep. I was kinda, I was just bullied for just my personality, I guess. The bullying was basically nonstop. Like most of my grade really didn't uh, take kindly to me. I ended up like switching schools like pretty frequently just because of the just rampant bullying that I've had, you know. I was kind of not being treated as well from uh, like a couple teachers, which is not okay. I was told like that I was eating too much and I needed to watch my diet and not slouch in class and all these like other things that were just kind of being rounded up. I just felt like I didn't really have a sense of belonging anywhere. I was just kind of a, a shell of the person that I was. I heard of depression before, but I never really just kind of perceived it as a real thing. I didn't want to label myself as being depressed or being anxious or for that kind of stuff in fear of being labeled as like an attention grabber or anything. Back then, you know, that was just like early 2010, so that was like mainly the butt of the joke about a lot of things. I've been writing music since I was 13 or 14. I started to weaponize my like songwriting into a form of, you know, therapy. Like, I, I, uh, I think at that time I was very confused and angry. So uh, my songwriting turned to stuff about like my intrusive thoughts and putting myself down. Me leading up to going into the BMC, I was going through senior year and I was uh, still struggling with the feelings of hopelessness. June 15th, 2020, that's kind of when the darkest night of my life happened. You feel so much and then something just breaks and then you feel utterly nothing. And my whole thing was just like, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to feel something other than just pure agony. Uh, that night I was feeling awful and I was just in my bathroom. I had a like a 1940s style razor where you just put a razor blade in. I took it out and I was just kind of hovering it over my wrist just because I was, I didn't know what I wanted to do, attempt self-harm or just go laterally and kill myself. I came to my senses a bit and then I just started crying my eyes out, just, just dropped the razor and I eventually told my mom that night that I was, that I almost did it and that's when I got admitted. Going to the BMC, it was certainly a life-changing experience. A, a tad scary, but at the same time, I knew the people in there were suffering with something. You know, it was just that mutual agreement of just like treating each other with respect. I've met people in there that completely shifted my perspective. All the doctors were super nice. You know, I got a pretty good prognosis when I was in there. Got new medicine that definitely helped a lot more than what I was taking. Just a whole like a staff of just very nice people to talk to and I enjoy talking to them and uh, it seemed like they were enjoying talking to me and everything so that was really cool. I like stuff like that where it's I could be myself and they could reciprocate that kind of feeling. After the BMC I was an outpatient for my whole summer. Outpatient was very helpful. The therapist that was working there is now my current therapist. Dope dude. <laughs> He's the most real person that I've met, that he will sit down with me and will tell me if something's wrong. He definitely put new perspectives on things. I'm very glad that I have somebody like that. I'm in my second year of college now. I'm a lot more involved in the music scene in Redlands. Meeting new people, having fun, breaking out of my shell a bit, and just kind of carrying myself with this like kind of newfound purpose. Uh, hopefully I can get a job uh, working in the music industry as an audio engineer and as a producer or whatever, just uh, helping people write music and 
go out and spread kindness because at the end of the day that's what people really need.